Q1. How would you prioritize test cases if you are given a limited time frame for execution, but you have a large number of test cases to run? Business critical features prioritize test cases covering functionalities essential to the business, as failures here could cause major disruptions. High risk areas focus on test cases for areas with recent changes or a history of defects, as they pose higher risk. Smoke and sanity tests run smoke and sanity tests to quickly validate core functionalities before diving into detailed testing. Regression testing prioritizes regression tests to ensure that no critical features are broken due to recent updates. Customer facing features give priority to test cases that directly impact user experience or are visible to end users. Automated test cases execute automated test cases to save time, leaving manual testing for complex or critical scenarios. Q2 What is the difference between String Builder and String Buffer in Java? In which scenarios would you use one over the other? Mutability Both String Builder and String Buffer are mutable meaning they can modify their contents without creating new objects. Thread safety string buffer is thread safe and synchronized, making it suitable for multi-threaded environments. String builder is not synchronized and is faster in single-threaded contexts. Performance due to lack of synchronization, string builder is faster than string buffer, making it ideal for non-concurrent situations. When to use use string builder for single threaded applications and string buffer for multi threaded programs where thread safety is needed. Q3 What is the role of abstract classes and interfaces in Java and how would you decide when to use one over the other in a test automation framework? Abstract classes are used to define a common base with some shared functionality and abstract methods that subclasses must implement. They are beneficial for setting up a foundation that various classes can build upon. Common behavior abstract classes can provide methods with common behavior, such as setting up a browser in a test framework. For example, a base test class might include a method to open the browser while subclasses like login test implement specific test logic. Interfaces define a contract with methods that implementing classes must fulfill, promoting flexibility and loose coupling. Multiple implementations interfaces allow different classes to implement the same methods. For instance, both Chrome Actions and Firefox Actions can implement a Web Driver Actions interface for browser specific actions. When to use each abstract classes, ideal for providing a base implementation and enforcing specific behaviors, like setting up a test environment. Interfaces, best for defining methods that various classes can implement especially when different implementations are required, such as browser-specific actions in Selenium. Q4. What is the difference between a tree map and a hash map? How would the choice between them affect performance in an automation framework? Ordering. Tree map maintains elements in a sorted order according to the natural ordering of its keys or a specified comparator. Hash map does not guarantee any specific order of its elements, it uses a hash table for storage. Performance Tree map operations such as put, get, and remove have a time complexity of O log n. Due to tree based structure. Hash map operations typically have a time complexity of O1 for basic operations due to hashing. Use case Use tree map when you need a sorted map and require operations in a specific order, like sorting test results. Use hash map for fast retrieval and insertion where ordering is not a concern, such as storing test data. Null keys slash values 
stream map does not allow null keys but permits null values. Hash map allows one null key and multiple null values. Impact on Selenium Framework Tree Map Useful for sorting test results or logs. May introduce slight overhead due to sorting. Hash map Preferred for faster test data access and storage, especially for large datasets. Q5 How do you use the iterator interface to loop through elements in a collection, and what are the advantages of using it over a simple for loop? The iterator interface provides a way to traverse a collection without exposing its internal structure. It is part of Java's Java.util package.uniform traversal. Iterator provides a standard way to traverse elements for all types of collections, for example, list, set. Concurrent modification handling. Iterator handles modifications during traversal gracefully with the remove method, avoiding concurrent modification exception. Enhanced readability. Using iterator improves readability and maintainability of code compared to manual index management in a for loop. Q6. How do you handle the issue of stale element reference exception in Selenium WebDriver when elements change dynamically on the page? Handling stale element reference exception in Selenium WebDriver, especially when dealing with dynamically changing web elements. Here's how to manage this issue effectively. 1. Use explicit weights 2. Retry mechanism 3. Relocate elements 4. Handle element state 5. Use expected condition 6. Page object model, POM, integration. Understand stale element reference exception, explanation, occurs when an element is no longer attached to the DOM. This can happen if the page is refreshed or updated. Q7. Can you explain the concept of expected conditions in Selenium WebDriver, and how would you use it to handle asynchronous JavaScript calls? Expected conditions is a utility class in Selenium WebDriver that provides various predefined conditions for WebDriver's WebDriver wait to wait for. It helps manage dynamic content and asynchronous behavior on web pages effectively. Purpose of expected conditions Expected conditions allows WebDriver to wait for specific conditions to be true before proceeding with actions. This is crucial for handling asynchronous elements. Usage of WebDriver wait Use WebDriver wait along with expected conditions to wait for elements or conditions to be satisfied within a specified timeout. Common conditions Common conditions include checking for element visibility, clickability, presence or text to be present dot handling asynchronous calls asynchronous calls like ajax can change the page content dynamically expected conditions helps in waiting for these changes to complete before interacting names of expected conditions in selenium webdriver alert is present element to be clickable element to be selected frame to be available and switch to it invisibility of invisibility of element located invisibility of element with text number of elements to be number of elements to be less than presence of all elements located by names of expected conditions in selenium webdriver presence of element located staleness of text to be text to be present in element text to be present in element located title contain title is visibility of visibility of all elements visibility of all elements located q8 how do you implement data driven testing in test ng using parameters from an external file like excel 1 
add dependencies, ensure Apache POI libraries are included in your project.2. Create Excel utility class, read data from the Excel file using Apache POI.3. Create test class, use test ngs add data provider to supply the data from the utility class to your test methods. Q9. What are the advantages of using Scenario Outline in Cucumber? How would you use it to execute the same test case with multiple data sets? Advantages of using Scenario Outline in Cucumber Reusability equals greater than write a single scenario template for multiple data sets. Readability equals greater than reduces redundancy. Keeping feature files clean. Parameterization equals greater than easily handle different input combinations. Efficient coverage equals greater than tests various scenarios with minimal FR. Simplified maintenance equals greater than update test logic in one place. Q10. To manage test data in an automation framework effectively, avoid redundancy, and ensure easy maintenance, follow these best practices. Centralized data management use external files, store test data in external files such as Excel, CSV, or JSON. This makes data management easier and keeps your test scripts clean. Example, use Apache POI for Excel or Jackson for JSON. Data providers use data providers in TestNG. Utilize TestNG's at data provider to supply data to test methods, ensuring that test cases are parameterized and reusable. Environment configuration externalize configurations. Store environment-specific configurations in external files or environment variables. This makes it easier to adapt tests to different environments. Example, use config.properties for configuration settings. Data-driven testing implement data-driven testing. Write test cases that run with multiple sets of data to cover various scenarios. Example. Use Scenario Outline in Cucumber for running the same test with different data. Summary Centralized Data Management Store data in external files. Data Providers Use Test NG at Data Provider. Environment Configuration Externalize Configurations Test Data Management Tools Use Tools for Dynamic Data Generation. Data Driven Testing Implement Data Driven Approaches. Data cleanup, automate cleanup processes, data integrity, validate data before use, version control, use version control for data files. Q11. How do you collaborate with developers and product owners in an agile team to ensure that test automation meets both functional and business requirements? Engage early. Participate in sprint planning and requirements discussions to understand needs from the outset. Maintain clear communication, use regular updates, feedback loops, and collaborative meetings to align on goals and address issues. Define acceptance criteria. Work with product owners to set clear, measurable acceptance criteria for test cases. Prioritize value. Focus automation on critical functionalities and high-risk areas that impact business processes. Integrate with C-CD. Ensure automated tests are part of the C-CD pipeline for continuous execution and immediate feedback. Adapt and improve. Be flexible with changing requirements and continuously improve test automation based on feedback and observations. Summary Early Involvement Engage in planning and requirement discussions Clear communication Maintain regular updates and feedback Define acceptance criteria Align test cases with acceptance criteria Prioritize automation 
focus on high value and business critical tests, integrate automation with C slash CD, ensure regular test execution and feedback, collaborative testing, work with developers and conduct exploratory testing, documentation and reporting, maintain clear documentation and report issues effectively, adapt and evolve, be flexible and continuously improve based on feedback.